हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हाउस द जोस आई नो योर जोस इज हाई टुडे आई विल बिगिन विद योर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट टॉपिक इज चैप्टर फोर एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म इन दिस चैप्टर आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द रेस्ट पोर्सन ऑफ द मूविंग क्वाइल एलोमीटर In recent previous class, I discussed, I explained about the definition and principle of moving moving coil galvanometer. Today, I will explain about the diagram and its working and theory. So, let us begin with the diagram. The diagram is shown here. We can see the coil is here, a scale is here, north and south. pole that is permanent magnet soft iron is here uniform radial magnetic field is here these are the component main component of this diagram so a radial field is here okay soft iron is here coil is here scale is here now what happens a uniform magnetic field in principle i have explained that whenever the current flows through the loop in uniform magnetic field then a torque is developed and that torque rotate the coil this is the principle in this here is a pivot and there is a coil also that is the spring that is a spring here is a spring what happens when the current flows through the loop rotation takes place rotation means due to couple the uh, rotation of the of the you can say rectangular loop or whatever with the size of the uh, shape of the loop that is rectangular is taken here rectangular loop that loop rotates okay so in that case the spring there is a twist that twist is formed in a spring so if you want to calculate the torque here then you will first of all assume that unit torque per unit twist so let k be the torque per unit per unit twist and if theta is the twist then k theta will be the torque rotational torque this torque is developed in the spring which is attached in the uh, rectangular current carrying coil okay so now let us see here that this torque which is stored in the spring and that spring is attached to the rectangular loop which is being rotated in uniform magnetic field b so the maximum the maximum torque this is k theta where k is the torque per unit twist and theta is the total twist that is made here then total torque k theta this will be equal to n i a b maximum torque this is the maximum torque n is the number of loops i is the current a is the cross sectional area and b is the magnetic field here theta is equal to n i a b by k that is theta is equal to you can write here n a b by k into i that is theta proportional to i when theta a twist is formed then current is detected here on that scale where i have made the in the diagram i have shown that there is a small deflection on the scale 
स्मॉल डिफ्लेक्शन दैट इंडिकेट्स द स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ दैट मेजर्स द स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट सो थीटा प्रोपोर्शनल टू आई दैट मेजर्स द स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट सो दिस इज द वर्किंग एंड थ्योरी हेयर वॉट वुड बी द करेंट सेंसिटिविटी इफ थीटा बाई आई दिस इज द करेंट सेंसिटिविटी करेंट सेंसिटिविटी एंड सिमिलरली थीटा बाई बी दैट गिव्स द वोल्टेज सेंसिटिविटी सो हियर आर दिज टू इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशंस करेंट सेंसिटिविटी एंड वोल्टेज सेंसिटिविटी नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट अबाउट द कन्वर्जन ऑफ दिस गैलोमीटर इन टू अमीटर हाउ वुड यू हाउ वुड यू कन्वर्ट ए गैलोमीटर इन टू अमीटर दैट आई हैव टू डिस्कस राइट नाउ सो द कन्वर्जन ऑफ गैलोमीटर इन टू आमीटर लेटस डिस्कस अबाउट दैट द कन्वर्जन ऑफ द कन्वर्जन ऑफ गैलोमीटर गैलवेनोमीटर गलवानोमीटर टू इन टू आमीटर आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन हेयर अबाउट दैट Take a galvanometer here, and a small resistance wire that is shunt is connected in parallel to the galvanometer, and galvanometer resistance is G. I is the net current, I G is the current passing through the galvanometer. So a small amount of current, the small amount of uh, resistance that is known as S shunt resistance. A shunt is connected to galvanometer in parallel. This resistance is always taken to be very small. If this small is made to zero, then that would be the ideal galvanometer. So ideal is ideal, you know, that that could not be achieved. But that is the theoretical idea that for ideal galvanometer, for ideal ammeter, the shunt resistance should be equal to zero. so here both are parallel the current remaining current i minus ig for numerical purpose of view the potential difference across g that will be equal to across s that is ig into capital g is equal to i minus ig into s you can find the value of s s is equal to ig into g by i minus ig this is the shunt resistance you can calculate by this method now conversion of galvanometer into voltmeter how do you convert galvanometer into voltmeter voltmeter for this you have to convert you have to connect a high resistance wire in series let high resistance wire be of resistance capital r that is that is g is connected to a resistance r here this is whenever high resistance wire that is of resistance r is connected in series with galvanometer of resistance g and let the current through the galvanometer be g here then and the potential difference across this setup will be total v so ig is equal to net v by g plus r here we can write G plus R is equal to V by I G, and therefore R is equal to V by I G minus G. This is the unknown resistance. That is the if you have asked, we have been asked to suppose you have been asked to find the value of R, then you can apply this formula. This is the high resistance. That is R, which is connected in series with galvanometer. so it is converted into galvanometer in galvanometer from galvanometer to voltmeter for ideal voltmeter uh, what would be the value of r it should be infinity for ideal r should be infinity so it is also the i hypothetical thing ideal is ideal so for practical point of view uh, this is all about the conversion so what we uh, calculated what we have learned today today i discussed about the 
main part of the diagram of uh, moving coil galvanometer that is western galvanometer it is also called western galvanometer in that uh, the definition galvanometer western galvanometer that is the moving coil galvanometer that's the definition i have explained again i am saying that to measure the small current such electromagnetic device is used okay electromagnetic why because current due to current there is a torque a current that is flowing across a uh, rectangular rectangular coil that is coil and if that is being rotated in uniform magnetic field then torque is developed and that rotate that so this is all about the moving coil galvanometer its diagram working and conversion i think you should revise it again and again and if any query question you can ask me i think you have understood and got each and every concept of this lecture but what is remaining now from your side to subscribe it thank you